to make it back <laughs> from, from time to time. Sometimes. So so we'll have to see how this plays. We now know, though, forever or, or however, is that Hideaway and Anime don't like platforms because they were given an option and they chose to go to a place that had zero. Yeah, given the opportunity, they'll pick the map without the platforms. And uh, you know what? I think this map is still a solid map for this team as, of course, they have a, a lot of runway, a lot of room to go for team combos and get a lot of setups. But Fakey, that was a dare nair pickup. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, Sarah Chase Yo. dodge, side air, hideaway off the left side of the stage, oh, stuff recovery stop. effects. He's out of there. Fakey was covering in case he had anything left, but he didn't. And just like that, hideaway down in under 30 seconds. Nair going to launch Fakey up. Downlight Nair once again, but Fakey not going off screen. Oh. Tries to go for the neutral light, falling side, or does connect. Java, okay, does manage to hold on there. I thought he was going to get some kind of follow up. Dad just was right in. Gets the recovery, and even though he's got some friendly fire, Fakey holds on thanks to the benefit of friendly fire not knocking back as much on your teammates as it does your opponents. And Fakey gets right in where that team combo started with the sideline air. Two sideline airs from Java, and Anime and Hideaway literally like just part yeah. ways to avoid that ground pound. Like the Red Sea, they made way, but Java still holding on here. Gets the wall touch, gets the ground pound thrown gets out the there. Gets the recovery but damage as well. And Fakey and Java both being on their first stock can absolutely go for these save attempts. I mean, that was worth it. Follow Team up. combo doesn't even work because of how damaged Java is. Finally, recovery comes through. But a good start for the blue team. Okay, Fakey doesn't need a weapon. Currently unarmed. Hideaway. It's a nice side light, but couldn't get that recovery read. Neutral light hits, falls with neutral light. I thought he was going to go for the dare instead, but Fakey gets combo. a team combo with a neutral sig. Anime down to one stock. Thought he was going to go for the team combo follow up after that neutral light, but Java just puts out a neutral signature. Down lights hideaway off to the left side of the stage, and Fakey's trying to stop him from being able to get back. And I truly think that the small size of this wall is being a detriment to the red team. I don't think hideaway and anime are playing around it nearly as well as Fakey and Java are. Recovery comes through. Anime and hideaway just have nowhere to land, and they're getting hit by so many axe recoveries. Yeah, I think that's the big thing is like, there's no safe landing zone, right? Like they're covering all of the ground. The walls don't the feel safe. safe. Side sig not gonna connect or not gonna complete. Yeah, and that's that's huge. Java and Fakey are playing like they've got this matchup solved. Hideaway and anime do get that edge guard onto Java. Team combo onto Fakey. Down six's not gonna knock out, but that could even things up right okay. away. This is it though. Fakey gets away from it, and Java's right there to give the reprieve. Oh, Java's getting a ton of damage on Arb, actually. Fakey goes in for that side air to stop Java from taking any more damage. Falls down with that side air, and after doing what? A good 60 damage on Arm, finally picks up a sword. Fakey goes down, and now he just has to avoid getting caught between two gauntlets. Oh, and oh, he fails at that. Downsig hits, and now he's in orange. Oh, good interrupt there as well. But Downsig into Ensig, and that's the stock. What an amazing follow up coming out from Java. Immediately picking that up. It's all left to Hideaway now here in game number one. Like you said, Java and Fakey, they're a little bit different now that they're here in the elimination side of things. Oh, and Fakey puts the side light out. D-Light side air, that's just going to be the edge guard possibly? Yeah, Pogos from Fakey are fantastic off stage. And that's a game one victory for Java and Fakey already uh, outperforming their first best of five against this team. Yeah, Java and Fakey, I mean, that was something different. And still, Hideaway and Anime made it close until that combo came through, right? Like, they were bringing it back pretty fast. That's going to be that, that just Java completely trusting Fakey with his edge guard here. Like, he, he jumps around and he goes, ah, oh, you've got that. <laughs> Runs back to center stage, and Fakey once again showing how good he is in twos. We're going to Demon Island again for game number two. A little bit of a surprise to me. Um, we'll see if uh, Hideaway is able to get himself away from the uh, edge of the stage this time around. Java immediately, <laughs> however, is just like, nope, someone's coming down here. Someone's got to go off stage. He does start every game jumping off stage. <laughs> uh, but like you said, I think the red team started to figure out what they need to do uh, in this matchup. So I think going to the same map limits the variables they have to change. Yes, and that is a, a great way of thinking about it if, uh, if, the, if the adjustments and adaptation was happening in the middle of the game. Because uh, they can go into game number two and then see if they were right or wrong. Meanwhile, Fakey and Java have to continue playing to their game plan better than their opponents are playing to theirs. And to come through, puts up that side Gosh. sig with a little little uh, cameo from Jake the Dog there for a second, and then uh, goes right back to playing some neutral as that neutral sends Java off the left side. Both of them dodging away, no one can get caught by that down sig. No save from Fakey that no. time. Spear Nair seems to be the best choice in that case, and yeah. that's going to be the KO for anime. Red team looking a little bit better. 
Looks like some of the things that they thought up in game one were correct as Fakie Ooh. down six Java. Yeah, not a great down to connect there as Java's been looking for a weapon for a good 30 seconds. Sword finally spawns into the best place they could be hoping for. Neutral Sig's gonna knock out Hideaway. Team combo from Java into the recovery. Can anime land on the ground? Just falls straight back down. And then two cannoneers on the Java secures the lead for the red team. Nice GCN life of fakies right there to stop all that. Oh, the Nair ended up being a little too quick for Java to be able to follow up with down air afterwards, but a good vertical combo coming out from them as a team, and Hideaway ends up taking about as much damage as Java has until that sideline oh, oh. recovery connects. Double oh, pogo edge guard. Fakie's still going crazy. Fakie almost taking anime out on that right side, Whoa. but Java will take Hideaway out on that right side. Yeah, once Hideaway gets sent off stage, he gets demolished. Anime now getting hit by a dare. Java going to dodge the side stick from Hideaway. Hideaway on one stock. That will disarm Java. Can he make it back? He can. Picks up the sword. Doesn't save Fakie from that side stick, and it's got so much oomph that it knocks out from center stage. But eyes are on Hideaway, the linchpin of this red team right now. If he falls, Anime in the 1v2, and we've seen the blue team has those team combos. They might be hunting down Hideaway. Yeah, but they have to get away from Anime, who's been doing a great job interrupting a lot of these team combos and has two stocks to do it with. Ooh. Neutral Sig does spike Anime, but he's got the cannon stare to be able to make it back. Fakie goes for the pogos, and Anime recovers high. Nice snare from Java, however, and Hideaway could just get knocked out before Anime knows it. Like, he's, he's taking a good amount of damage, and he stays airborne most of the time, and Java's looking for these Neutral Sigs. Yeah, Hideaway is not doing the best job of staying true to his name, as oh. he's getting pinballed in between both blue team members. I mean, there really is the least amount of stage to Hideaway in on Demon Island. That ground pound comes through, and it's like, what are you going to do, hold the wall against Java? No, you aren't. You're going to get pogo instead, and the save oh. comes through just straight into the other spinning axe move off the top of the stage. They go in for this team combo on Anime's last stock, but they got to be careful. Anime still technically has a very good shot at winning this 1v2. It is still an Onyx, a healthy legend, lots of defense behind it, but Java's edge guard ability is really showing its its uh, face right now. Oh, neutral light trying to catch that landing there. Even if anime goes for a dare, Java just has to spot dodge the landing and then fake you can go for the punish right afterwards. Nice side air and anime can't get anything started here with the gauntlets. Yeah, there's so few moves that Whoa. anime can throw out safely as those down sig catches anime's head over the corner. Looks like they're going to swap He's positions. low on jumps. He's still, he has a dodge. That's all he has to come back. It, he only has a dodge. Does Not manage back? to make it back. Does get the side light. Picks up the cannon. Dare avoided. Anime holding on oh. pretty nicely. Oh, that could cost Java. That could cost Fakie. It's good. Neutral light. Anime gets the neutral light. Fakie, can he make Java's it back? Beating. <gasps> Java can't get back. Oh, but, but the, the pogo. pogo. Is that going to carry done. it? Oh, that was so terrifying. OK. Fakie clutching with what we've been saying he's been best at all weekend. And that's Spear, Pogo, and Edge Guards. I do think that while that was closer, uh, the stage striking strategy from Java Fakie is working so well. I think that they actually would have a better time on Western Air Temple and Miami Dome, but Demon Island's so good that they just found the map triad that's going to deal with uh, with Hideaway and Anime. And now they're thinking very careful about how they want to be able to strike these maps here because uh, they're up 2-0, and there's still a very real possibility with how Anime and Hideaway are playing right now that they could bring this back uh, as a 3-0 uh, sweep because Hideaway has admittingly gone down early on a stock once per game, mm -hmm. um, and it's still been this close. Yeah. Uh, I think they know that this is very doable for Hideaway and Anime. There's still a world where they, they leave come it back open and get the last three, but we're going to APOC oh. for game number three. I wonder if Java and Fakie looked at that last game and went like, okay, it's run its course. Mm -hmm. Let's just go back to a stage that they're comfortable on, because I think a APOC has been what Java's defaulted to yeah. every time that it's been open. So here we go, game three, three one two, game away one. from knocking Hideaway and Anime out at third place and having a Magdi Radish versus Java Fakey Grand Finals where the two teams are, are, are anything away from what anybody else is doing, right? That would be so, so incredibly exciting. But also, again, getting that reverse on the team that knocked them down here, who 3 0 them in the winner's side. Yeah. Now they could 3 0 in the elimination side. I mean, side. what better warm up than beating Snowy and Luna, right? That's running the exact same team comp. You got the Nair no. after that Nair. Hideaway has to come back to the stage, goes for that down signature, and Java just bats him away with that X side air. So accurate with these attacks. Side light into down light side He's air. There. And he oh. went. Okay. Java expected. Just the he single D light yeah. and then he went for the double D light He's like, I still got you. Gives the X recovery of the team combo off the top. So good. I can't. Wow, I didn't know. I can't believe he had time to be able to follow up after that. What a great start to game three for the blue team and a terrible start for the red one. Java, can he make this back? Yep. Just in there. Fakie there holding onto the wall, and Anime didn't want to go off of the ground pound. And look at that. They're still fighting with their first stocks until that cannon neutral light takes Java down. 
But Fakie still very healthy on this first stock. Red team not able to collapse onto Fakie while Java's respawning. Instead, they're the ones who have been sweating out in the open air. Oh, sideline hits, back swing of the dare connects, downer hits as well. Java gets saved by Fakie, edge guard to anime, is that it? He sweats, oh, he, he does touch. Hideaway does a ton of damage to Java in the meantime, but still Fakie on three stocks, bringing anime down to one. Duke, this might be curtains for this team as he gets the double KO, the exhausted recovery, and that's five stocks to two here in game three. Uh, if there's any time for the Taza curse to enact, now There's no way Fakey and Java are going to lose this one. Dang. It's so <laughs> I'm so good at that. That's crazy. You ask and you shall receive, dude. Holy cow. Because Java could go down now, and then that 1v2 against Fakey is totally doable for the red team. Whoa. <laughs> and they get it. They want it. That's terrifying. Okay. I think they see it. They're getting the damage to the Java, Java. too. I like no. to disengage, though. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Java's, like, realizing the, the dire situation of this uh, of this game state at the moment. Uh, either way, did just get the double knockout. Fakie taking a ton of damage. Nair will stop Java from uh, taking any more damage. And Fakie has brought Hideaway into red. Okay, it's looking better and better for the blue oh! team. Gets the recovery, okay. and now it's almost certainly it. Fakie gets hit by the Nair from anime, but that side light, neutral light, neutral sig. That's a three stock and a 3-0 for Java and Fakie in elimination finals. They're going to Grant. And that is good for them. That means they didn't have to play out an entire game five situation they didn't have to burn all that extra mental energy instead they get to save some because they now go into the grand finals. yeah it's actually such an interesting um it's such an interesting dynamic in a double el elimination bracket where these two teams are three and three on the weekend 